We have Seahawks and the 49ers. Divisional game. Big game. I, I guess for the Seahawks being contention. Well, I think the big thing for the Seahawks is the injury to Marshawn Lynch, right? It's really like uh, the most... Flat out yeah. It yeah it's okay. Obviously the most important thing to come out of this. Um, yeah. Uh, an interesting... Okay. Was the stats that Thomas Rawls put up in his absence over 200 yards and a touchdown? Mm-hmm. I don't think they're as screwed as it might seem at first. And next year, I think that Lynch might even be behind Rawls in the lineup. It's very possible. Man, I didn't even think about that. But overall, if you want to see what Rawls has done every time that Lynch has been out so far this season, he's actually put up better numbers every right. single game. He's a younger guy. He doesn't have as much wear as tear. Yeah. And part of it could be because he hasn't played, started as many games. Really didn't really, didn't really do much at all in the game. He didn't really get any snaps at all. So he's been able to stay healthy. So when he has played... He you know, hasn't had to fight injuries and, and stuff. Mm-hmm. But he's looked pretty damn impressive. He has. And Seattle, you know, they won this game. They're definitely still a contender for the playoff spot because, hell, if they get hot, you know, they could get back into the top of this conversation. And they've done it before, you know. They get a late season run, get hot, usually a little bit earlier than at this point in the season. Yeah. Like, well, what we're moving into. Yeah. So, a little bit later than usual, but there's still, you know, quite a few weeks to, to get their shit together. So, if anything, in this game, they just asserted their dominance that the 49ers have no chance for the playoffs. But that like was the already 49ers said. are done. Everyone expects them to be. <laughs> The big thing now is, is Kaepernick done in San Francisco. And yeah. He's probably, probably gone. Do you think they're going to try to trade him, or... You know, I honestly could speculate, but that's all we'd be doing is speculating. I really... I don't know how that's going to pan out. I don't know if anyone... He's still a pretty young guy with some upside. I think they might could trade him, I guess. Yeah, I, I wouldn't I just, be surprised. I don't surprised. know where he would fit. I don't know who he would fit. I think almost anywhere. Uh, I think if they would trade him to... Let's say, okay, I got trained to the Cowboys. Um, Matt Castle didn't work out for him. Um, Brandon Wee didn't work out for him. Obviously, if, just in case, Tony Romo goes down, they're kind of shit out of luck. Go to a team where you have an experienced quarterback, you have a successful quarterback, let him sit on the bench for a while. Let him take notes. Let him... uh, so that all the pressure's on him. Let him learn a few things. Let him have a quarterback be like, you know, sit down at the on the sidelines like after a drive and say, like, well, this is what happened. This is what I did in this scenario. Let him learn. Because he's never had it that, like, you know, with Jim Harbaugh, like, you just thrown to the wolves or to the lions, you know, oh. and uh, said, go for it. And he yeah, and he Super had some, Bowl, yeah, you know? had some early success. Yeah, but... He just hasn't progressed at all since then. Uh, well, he... Even a regress. Yeah, exactly. And uh, I think if he goes to a team, it's just a backup somewhere, uh, you know, or another one is Denver, if he's behind Peyton Manning, who, Maybe. you know, is... Obviously, he wants to come back next year, but he goes behind Peyton Manning... And learns a few things. Kaepernick's still very young. And see, if, I'm just saying there's, there's definitely scenarios where he could fit in as a backup somewhere to just pick up. Yeah, I was, to pick I was up really good thinking, habits instead of progressing with bad habits. I was I was thinking of somewhere you could go as a starter, but if you, if you start thinking backups, I really think that's probably the the best option for him to sit behind someone like that and learn a little bit. Yeah, and you know, actually get an opportunity to make improvements without the game being on the line. <laughs> right. So we'll see how that pans out. 
But I do think that he has taken his last snap for the 49ers. Yeah, I, I don't see him being on the 49ers next year. Uh, I do see definitely that 49ers are probably going to be one of the top teams to get a draft pick. They're going to go straight quarterback right away. Which, ironically, is almost setting up a quarterback for failure, to be honest. If Colin Kaepernick isn't doing the job, if Blaine Gabbert is doing the job, you think some rookie is going to be your answer for a team that's... Been, I think the problem is much bigger than just what their quarterback situation is. It is, and that's a rough division to get thrust into. Exactly. Well. So, no matter what quarterback is put into that situation, they're going to struggle. It doesn't matter who, unless you're some veteran, but what veteran wants to get traded to the 49ers at this point? Hey, the 49ers did this to themselves. They really did. Uh, I don't think the 49ers are going to be a good team for a long time. If you're a fan, I'm sorry, because it's not your fault, but your, uh, your management, your ownership, somewhere in that, someone, I don't know who fans are directly placing the blame on for all this bullshit. Yeah. Quite frankly, I don't, I don't care because I have nothing in, I don't have a dog in that fight. <laughs> but whoever it was that decided it was best to get rid of Harbaugh is, Harbaugh is, is the, the dumb. That was a poor decision. And everyone knew it was a poor decision. Yeah. And look at what the 49ers are doing without him and look at what he's doing in college in comparison. Pretty, Man. Pretty successful. We've said it before, and there's no point of it. we're gonna just be a dead horse. It, I feel like every week we're just the same. We're saying the same exact thing, you know, about the whole situation. But on, it's what well, it's, it is. It's gotten even worse, so <laughs> it has. And that's just crazy. We're two guys who aren't even fans, and we see it from like you know an outside perspective, and it's clear as day to both of us of what the problem is. And for some reason. The guys over at the 49ers are sitting there going, well, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the problem is. It's like, the, I don't know how the hell you don't see it. And you're so blind. And when you got two guys from Wisconsin and Louisiana going like, man, how the hell do you so, not It's see a management it? problem. But if the management, if the problem runs all the way to the top, there ain't no one to fire. There's no one left to fire, you know? I suppose. If, if the yeah. problem runs all the way up to the top, Top of the food chain, what are you gonna do? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like true. you know, a little off topic, but it's it's kind of you know some of the criticisms of Jerry Jones over there is can't fire Jerry Jones, you know. Right. If the if the ownership isn't willing to do something to fix this, then that's it. So, yeah. So who might that's, be waiting uh, a long much, time? Uh, that's pretty much all she wrote on the 49ers right now, but. You can also feel free to jump on the Golden State Warriors bandwagon. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm sure they're <coughs> being in the same Bay Area. I'm sure there's a pretty solid. Yeah. Well. So, so I have a question for you. Um, that we might even see this this year, next year. Do you think that the Seahawks might see a shift and we'll see? a split carry between Marshawn Lynch and Thomas Rawls? Probably. You think so? Yeah. You got, you know, the old mama bear going at I think, it, and I the think young buck the smart behind him. Yeah. I think so. Uh, well, especially reserve Lynch as well. You know what? Look at how many team success has done it. Um, Bengals are doing it. Successful. Um, the That's Patriots are doing it. And it's so successful. I would even argue maybe it's fact, as of right now, the Packers are doing it between James Starks and Eddie Lacy. Pretty successful. Like, very, very recently. Running, running back by committee is just the way it's done. Yeah. Teams, honestly. Uh, I think it's weird because Marshawn Lynch hasn't been past his prime by any means. But we are seeing for the first time a slowdown mm-hmm. in him. This might be when this season might be the season of the best. And it might already be because of injuries. Yeah. But you know, that's just the running back. I mean, football is the nature of the beast and you get injured. And running back is always especially for the injury call. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
That'd be, be interesting. interesting. They had a one. Got the, kept their season on pretty good track, and 49ers kept theirs on pretty much the same track as well. <laughs> yeah. Carry on the same track for a top draft pick. <laughs> Which they probably desperately need, but... Maybe looking like the worst NFC team in the Raiders. There's a couple in the running of the AFC. I think it's 49ers and the Lions are the two NFC yeah. worst. And the Lions actually look pretty okay right They're now. looking a lot better than the 49ers right now, I'll yeah, tell you that that's, much. That's damn true. Yeah. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Yeah, let's wrap it up. We got Facebook and Twitter. This thing's in the link below. We got way too long on this discussion, but that's all right. Maybe you liked it, you know, and let us know if you did or you didn't. And on top of all that, uh, still follow us and tell us what you think. And we're going to just end it right here because we got enough